So as the winter transfer market uh, approaches quickly, uh, we're going to start hearing a lot of rumors about, you know, some of the things that could happen uh, with Red Star going into January and some of the transfers that could happen, some of the guys that could leave. And Milos Milovic actually spoke about a player who could become a transfer target. Now, when I'm not really sure, but uh, Luka Ilic, someone who has already played for Red Star, he had uh, glowing things to say about him. He likes his movement on and off the ball. Uh, someone who is familiar with the club, having played here uh, probably four or five years ago now uh, with his brother Ivan Ilic, who plays for Verona, who plays for the Serbian national team. So he spoke highly of him and he, was, he said something interesting um, that Luka looks like a player who has played, you know, outside of the Serbian league, which... Uh, you know, he was sold to Man City after he left Red Star, and then he went um, to Breda in in Netherlands, uh, Twente and Toise, and now he's at um, TSC, which is a, a, a club in in uh, in Serbia, in Bačka Topola. So, and he's kind of getting regular playing time there, three goals and assists in seven matches. So he's doing very well for himself. Um, so it's interesting that you know Miloš Milić can point out the fact that you know he is a player who looks like he has played, you know, outside of the country, outside of Serbia, um, which I, I think it means a lot because he's been on a number of loans. And, you know, if you could kind of start seeing that uh, in a player, and he's still very young, 23 years old, uh, if you could start seeing that in a player who hasn't played too much, you can only imagine what would happen if he got consistent playing time. Um, in terms of, like, how realistic is the transfer and things like that, uh, I think, you would have to ask Twa about that because he is alone at TSC from Twa. Uh, he featured a little bit, I think, earlier in the season or even last season he was with them, um, but just not consistent playing time. So in terms of the transfer, I think um, at the end of the day, you would have to look at Twa and, and see how they feel about that and, and you know what the next step is for him. The one thing I'll say, he plays a attacking midfield position where Red Star has uh, a ton of players at that position. So you have players like Marko Ivanic, you have Kanga who could play there, you have uh, Kings Kanga who can play there, you have uh, Yegor Prutsev who hasn't played too much, but he can play there as well. Uh, so you have kind of a log jam, but I think once either this winter approaches or next summer, Red Star is going to do kind of like a like a clean out of, of a bunch of players. So Mirko Ivanic, I don't think he's going to be here anymore. Uh, Kings Kangwa hasn't done that great, but I think they'll give him another season. Kanga's just signed a new contract. Uh, I expect to see more of Prutsev next season um, where you can uh, get a little bit more playing time with the club. So uh, I don't think he's going to go anywhere either. Then you have players like Motika who hasn't played too much. You have um, uh, uh, Mustafa there as well. You have Stefan Mitrovic. There's a lot of players vying for you know, three different positions. You have our seven or te seven to nine players who are, you know, playing in those positions. So it's going to be interesting going forward to see what happens. I always like having domestic players on the club. I think too often we look to improve outside of the domestic um, domestic league. Sorry, I should have said. Uh, we look too often to, to kind of uh, replenish outside of the domestic league. We just think because someone comes in and they're a different nationality, they're going to be much better than what we could find in uh, our domestic league. And honestly, that usually is the case, but there have been a plenty of misses, especially in the last uh, probably two seasons with Red Star. So and you kind of wonder, like, could this team have been better if we just replaced guys with teams in our domestic league? Maybe, maybe not. But we have had a lot of misses um, recently in, in, in some of the guys that we have brought in. And I mentioned Kings Kong as, as one of them. And then you could, you know, you could talk about someone like uh, Bukari, who's been very good for us. So, you know, it's kind of like two different ends of the spec spectrum, so to say. And there's been years where we, you know, when we couldn't miss that five, six years ago, when we brought in a bunch of players and feels like every time, every person, every player was a significant part of the team. But in terms of Luka Ilic, I'd like to see him back uh, in some capacity with the team. Again, a lot has to go with Twas and I don't know what their, uh, I don't know what their agreement with TSC is. Like if there's an option to buy for TSC there, uh, if they do, I think TSC would be stupid not to, um, kind of purchase a contract because they are a club who competes uh against red star and and partisan and and they do very well they finish pretty much top five or six since they've been in in the first tier which is like four or five years now so i think it would i think i'd like to see him here uh in some capacity but again there's a lot of players that he's gonna have to kind of 
fight it off for, for the starting position. But I mean, if when you have the current coach who comes out and says, I feel like, you know, he could, that that's a player that I'm looking at, then, you know, you have the full backing of that coach. But all it takes is for that manager, coach, whatever you want to call him to leave and someone else comes in and doesn't feel the same way about you. And now you're on the outside looking in. And I think the most important part is he's familiar with the club. Like, like I said, he's played with the club before. Uh, he featured probably 10, 15 times when he was, I want to say 18 or 19. Again, his brother, Ivan, was was here as well. Ivan Ilich, like I mentioned, plays for the national team. Um, and they were a package deal to, to Man City. But even then, you know, he was he was, he was was highly touted. His brother was, I think, the better of the two uh, at that time. But he was also highly touted as well. And like I said, went to Man City. Then a bunch of loans uh, where he got some playing time, not too much. I think he would have loved it a lot more. But... Um, he's kind of working his way up and again he's only 23 years old so he's on that learning path and I think TSC was a good step for him and again to some capacity if he could come to Red Star I wouldn't mind that at all I think it pushes everyone else I think competition is healthy and then you know at the start of next season you could kind of sort out who who can stay who can go who you're going to loan out who you're going to sell who you're going to keep who's going to start who's going to get the minutes who's in all this stuff so um, I think it's an I think it's a very good problem to have and again when you look at Twa, I don't know what his contract situation is there, but you know they're gonna be the team that's gonna have to uh, answer a lot of questions where he goes and where the next step for him is in his career.